delete and re-record and start off on my camera because I recorded a video on my phone so um, I just wanted to go with those steps that I didn't include in this video that I did do and yeah so I'm gonna actually take this off and redo it just for the sake of the video and my first method was actually a pen pencil pencil method or you feeling your eyebrows you want to always make sure that you clean up the hair around your brows and when I say clean up the hair that's around, I mean basically just arch your eyebrows before you enhance your eyebrows. So just clean up the hair. Because when you clean them up with the concealer, you'll see the peach fuzz peeking through and that's not cute. So you want to always make sure your eyebrows are freshly arched before you fill them in. And I arched mine with this little thing here. Um, I bought this from Marsh Ross. For, and, it, and it came in a pack of three and it was for $2.99 and after I arch my eyebrows I always go in to clean or to you know disinfect that area I go in with my witch hazel and my round cotton ball swab Co round cotton round I think that's what it's called I'm gonna go in with the spoolie just to make sure just to comb my hair comb the hair in the direction that I want them to go and this is actually an extra step you don't have to necessarily do that you could just start off by drawing on your eyebrow so I'm going on with this pencil this pencil has like an end where it's actually a spoolie on the end as well just a hair store pencil nothing fancy and the color is brown uh, dark black dark brown because my natural hair is not black and it's not brown so it's like an in-between color so I'm going to go in I'm going to start off from the bottom and I'm going to and you don't have to start off from the bottom you can just slightly shade it in all over because you're going to clean it up anyway so it doesn't matter if you go out of the line out of your shape of your brow so I'm going to start off from the bottom like so and I'm just tracing my actual brow I'm not creating extra line well Create, I am creating extra lines but in, in between the brow, but I'm not creating extra lines underneath the brow. I'm just tracing my natural brow shape. So right now I'm going, I'm doing the top. And like I said, I'm lightly, I'm lightly shading because you don't want to go in too deep and then it's too dark. It doesn't look natural. So light as possible. And if it's not as light or not as dark as you would like it to be, but you don't want it too dark, you can just continue shading into that, those areas, those spots, those gaps in between your brows are co covered. So it's to my liking. So I'm going to take that spoolie. And these spoolies are ordered off of Amazon. Some cosmetic stores will give you like Mac. They'll give you some for free if you ask. So... I'm just lightly and then if it's too dark you can always take this spoolie and comb comb throughout your brow just to comb some of that product out so no sweat if it's too dark and making sure the product is evenly spread it throughout my eyebrow so now I'm going to line my brows and for those of you that don't wear foundation on your face and you just want to enhance your brows that's okay too so in order to do that and to still clean your brows up you have to go in with a concealer that is close to your skin tone and make sure you blend it in but no worries we're gonna go over that too so for my my brush of choice this is just to drag my product clean up my brows i'm using this brush and this is my morphe m40 m432 brush and my concealer of choice that's close to my skin tone is going to be by MAC Studio Finish Concealer color, color NC48. So I'm going to take a little of this and dab. I just want to get enough of the product onto my brush. I got some of the product on the brush. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to 
line and drag. And what I mean by line and drag, you gotta see. So I'm lining and I'm dragging the product down, downward. So I'm lining, drag. And if it helps you, you can always hold your brow, your lid up. So I'm lining and then I'm dragging the product and it's not much product on this brush which is best you want a little bit of product on your brush as possible because if you put all that on underneath as you're lining it up then where you're going to drag that product you got to really rely on your beauty blender to clean that up and less as possible people so lining 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 and then drag you can line it first and then drag you don't have to depending on what kind of concealer you're using if you're using a matte matte mattifying concealer you want to hurry up and uh, blend it before it dries so yeah i'm just going back over making sure my line is straight not too straight, but my arch is straight, I meant. So as I'm doing that, I'm still dragging the product. Just making sure that there's no gap. That don't worry, foundation. You, you, don't, you don't have to necessarily line up the top part if you want it natural. It's possible. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to line it anyways. If you have a hard time trying to get your arch to go, you can always like frown, frown, or you can always lift up your brow and do it that way. do is take my damp beauty blender and just blend that area or that concealer then and as you can see it's not really you really can't tell that it's there but you can tell if it's not blended in well that right So that is it for step one. And then as far as like the beginning of my brow, to make my brow look natural as possible, I'm going to take that spoolie. I'm going to comb mm -hmm. outward. Hey, you you want to stop so you Combing the product outward. method I'm going to be using my Morphe brush and this is a spoolie on the end and it's also an angle brush a dip brow pomade by Ebony was well, by um, Anastasia but the color is Ebony Mark, and this one actually is just right um, it comes out very like creamy but then it dries so and that was another reason why I got this because it was like a matte um, liner and it didn't smudge, it didn't move. So when I did my brows before, when I first started doing my brows, I was using the liner, like I said, because it didn't move. So now we got products out there that don't move and 
this would be one of them. See, it looks very creamy, but when I tell you, a little goes a long way. So, I'm going to just proceed to what I was doing before and shade. Following my natural brown shade. So I'm just combing throughout the brow, just making sure that there's no gaps and there's product distributed and evenly. So remember, drag and sweep, drag and sweep. So this side is actually my problem area, it never matches. This will be my brow, that, my stubborn brow. So I can tell already I'm gonna have to fix the beginning portion because it doesn't really match. So line above. This part if I, if I do it right. Hmm? No, I'm not. You wanna let me do it? You wanna let me do your makeup next time you gotta do it? So I'm going to set that damp beauty blender. I'm going to blend this in. Uh. And if you still can see it, that's okay. Because, like I said, this. Now, remember what I said as far as the concealer being close to your skin tone. If you don't wear foundation, you can always do the concealer that is close to your skin tone. That way you can't tell that you clean up your brows. And if you're going to wear foundation, you can always go with the concealer that's away from your skin tone. That's That brightens up your brows fully. And then being that you wear the foundation, it's going to clean it up and then everything's going to look seamless. So, that's it for the tutorial. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you.